so yeah all these other life forms Getting a little emotional. Probably just the cold. You know, the sniffles, the watery eyes. Just the cold. But, yeah, I mean, I don't think, uh, I don't think I don't want more life. You know, one thing that we could do is we could put. Put trees on other worlds, you know, gosh. That's so much by the time that we're capable of doing that. Oh, man. Just trying to think. So many possibilities. But I really like the idea of letting like wind and water spread life you know the flow of water the flow of the air very convenient you know life but I mean let's be honest what any other life form that we put out there we're, you know, we're not going to necessarily eat it or abuse it, you know, but we will wind up using it. We are doing it for us. We could do it for them. We could take, you know, plants to Mars, let them start off, you know, real simple. What we need, man, we need a good source of carbon dioxide pump out, you know, it's just not enough, just not enough atmospheric pressure on Mars, it's only like 1% of that of Earth, you know, so small, so minuscule, what we need is something that can take from the ground and just eat the ground, burn the ground, think about that, yes, good Good word. Incinerate. Get in there. Turn the material in the ground into vapor. Vaporize. Incinerate. Obliterate. Obliterate. Get a little too far. Got some birds. Got a little birdie. Birdie hop around over there. Probably got a nest in the tree here. I don't want to wait too long. Memory and battery are limited. I've got another huge field up here where people have raped the land of the trees. <laughs> Imagine somebody who that would really piss off. And I guess I did it for that reason. Then I, I'm, I'm a bad person. Is that, is that the definition of a bad person? Hmm. No. I think this might be the disc disc golf course. Yep, I see the fence. Here we are. This is it. We've made it, folks. We've made it. We're here at the disc golf course. <laughs> I thought we were going to the we going to Humane Society, weren't we? Oh, people bringing out their memes, trying to create some fear. That's just waste up, man. That's pure and simple out your bags. Somebody dumped their waste. Just want to check this out real quick. I got a, I got a gate over here. Got people making some shitty barriers. Yep, 
there's probably the first what do we got here <coughs> lumberjack meadows disc golf course records driving range Brian Hop I'm not gonna read all this. Tony Marzicola. Tony Marzicola. Jimmy Moyser. Moyser. Zero, 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 zero. Some pretty good, good records. Are you one of those people? I'm sure, maybe you played disc golf. Maybe you could beat some of those records. But you'd have to know the course, though. To know what it takes. <laughs> yep. Compare that to uh, what you might find on Google. You know, like the terrain and everything. I don't know. You wouldn't really need all that. Just being here in person, that's on a, a different scale, you know. There's some uh, tracks. Some big dog tracks big dog big canine let's let's be real here some fresh large canine tracks I'm not really going in this direction this is just this morning just rummaging around checking checking the scents Rules of play. Play begins on each hole at the designated teeing area. Concrete pad. Players take turns based on previous hole scores. Lowest score goes first from the teeing area. Players then proceed to take turns, always allowing the player furthest from the pin or basket to throw. A player finishes a hole when their disc rests in the basket or chains. Discs resting on top of the basket or wedged into the side of the basket cage do not finish. What? Discs resting on top of the basket or wedged into the side of the basket cage do not finish the hole? Wait a fucking minute here. On top or in the sides of the cage. Do not finish the holes. Yeah, there's there's uh, footprints out here. Somebody was out here this morning. Ah, maybe the there's a combination. Maybe this person brought his dog out here. Yeah, I was I was jumping the wolf. Working myself up. Some guy just brought his dog out. Little uh Lockham's razor. I think. There's a cage over there. This one's this is the last one I assume. Like eighteenth hole. Everything on the top doesn't count. Bullshit. It's in. Yeah, look at this. You get you get up on the top, that doesn't count. It's bullshit. It's bullshit. It's gotta change. I know uh disc golf is a pretty well established sport but not too well established that rules can't change or stuck I assume by that they were saying like stuck in the side here or maybe underneath maybe wedged you know down here underneath if it, if it nailed it off the ground you know and popped up and got stuck in there only if it's in here or down in here bullshit why would you not 
allow it to be up on top. You know what? Fuck it. I would say if it's touching it anywhere at all. Even if it's touching the base of the pole. You know? If you're touching this thing at all, you're done. I think that's much better. I'm a much better person at making up rules. Than anybody that made up those rules. I mean, just look at it. You can get a frisbee or a disc to touch that anywhere. I mean, you know what that structure is. The metal itself. The pole and the basket and everything. I guess kind of, you know, getting it in the basket is kind of the point. Touching the pole on the ground. Uh, I could question that. Stack up these. And there's a rocks. Oh, here an animal's jumping around. Maybe birds. That's one thing. Oh, little birds, they like to dart through the through the bushes and stuff. You know, looking for berries, scrounging. Clear, clear sign. Things in there. I guess it's like a driving lane, kind of, or a test, test course. I'm just chucking, chucking things out here. I have no idea why. Why I'm, why I'm walking all this right now? I, mean, I just want to get out. It's so beautiful. Look at this. What I'm looking at. I can see. I can see what you're seeing. Cause it's a little thing on the back here. Look at this. It's beautiful. Beautiful countryside. Isn't that awesome? So I guess. Uh, <coughs> Maybe. Am I right? I don't know. I don't see any indication of the markers. I didn't, I didn't really play football either. I mean, I did for uh, one year. That's another story I really wanted to tell a couple days ago. I woke up thinking about it. Now, see, this just isn't right. This just is not right. It's not level. The ground's not level. Isn't that fucking awesome? Look at those clouds. That's a beautiful view right there. I think it's already too late to look for deer. All this walking around I've been doing, they would have noticed me. But anyway, the point I was just trying to make, this starts to go downhill right here. So it falls off. So any sort of markers beyond this point, just kind of futile. 
school rock. School is rock, black rock. Shale. Probably shale. There we go. Gotta put the camera a little bit more. That was like so. Shale. Black. Not quite limestone, but. Black rock. Flat black rock. Yeah, there's little piles. So somebody, you know, one of wheelbarrowed rocks out in these piles. And, uh, it's our deer track here. I think there's a deer track. Possibly. Uh, some other animal. I don't really see a good indication what type of animal it is. Just on the looks of it. Could be a cat. Start to see pads. Might be that dog that uh, that person had. Yeah, this is about as far out as this goes. Whoever did this. Yeah, I guess they weren't really expecting anybody to get out much farther than this, but. Yeah, it's a bit cheap. You know? Whoever. Whoever came up with this. I think, can you tell? It goes downhill from here. So you're getting an unfair, unfair advantage. Not And not just from the shape of the terrain either. The wind is also going to help you. You know, as it falls off, you'll have more air below. More wind, higher wind speeds. And that'll help keep the disc afloat longer. You know, get underneath it. Get some lift. Not a very good, good range. There's an orange flag out here. Though. Orange flag. This is Discraft, the world's leader in disc sports. Dun, dun, dun. Discraft. You ever notice that everything's a freaking craft nowadays? Every, everything like, what the fuck actually happened to crafting? crafting, building things by hand, you know, forget Warcraft, Starcraft, Minecraft, Discraft, you got uh, fishing boats, what is it, Sportscraft, or actually I think there's Starcraft on the boats, I really craft, come on, a bunch of lazy people, including me. I'm a lazy fucking person. Let's let's be honest here. Maybe walking or across a field or something, and you might think, "Man, you're sitting at a computer right now, watching this on some electronic device, sitting in the Starbucks or something." You might think you're lazy, and I'm not for out being out here walking, but. I'm not lifting big machines. I'm not moving pallets or products. I'm not, uh, I'm not building anything either. Building, physically building. I'm not just making a video. I'm not crafting a video. This isn't video craft. If it was video craft, I'd be making reel to reel. Or making a device. Ugh. Yeah, I don't like that, man. It's like you're those guys that actually work really hard. They're hard workers, but since what you're doing is called work too, we'll say you're a hard worker. So when you say, "Honey, I gotta go to work." And you just mean you're really going to go sit at a fucking desk and look at some papers. 
that's not fucking work. All right? It's not work. Sitting at a desk and reading papers is not work. Sitting at a computer and playing with freaking a program is not work. Work requires converting energy into motion. Okay? Oh my goodness. My, my own worst enemy here because I know... Oh, moving my finger that's work you're right you're right moving my finger is work look at that I'm a worker I'm a working man I work all the time my heart's always working non-stop I'm a working man fuck off fuck that it's bullshit You know it's bullshit. I know it's bullshit. It's not work. Work lifting, you know. Weight lifting is kind of like uh, you choose, choose to do it. You know, I'm talking about weights: 50 pounds, 100 pounds, 100 kilos. It's mass, but I'm gonna go there. Actually, is mass part of the formula? I don't think so. Just uh, energy and emotion. Do you move? Use energy to move mass? I don't know. It's been a while. Physics people. You know, feel free to tell me. I may look it up. I may forget to look it up. But. Yeah, work. Okay, and there are certain degrees of work. And at some point, you know, you should be required to do so much work in order to call it work. Ah. It's just a stupid man. Like work has become, do you get paid? Do you get paid for what you do? Then you work. Oh, that's what you meant. Do I get paid for what I do? Do I get a paycheck? Then it's work. Yeah. Okay. Look at this view. See the clouds?